Hey, welcome back to the Ice Project. Got the red V in the house. Uh, for now, roll the intro. Yes, I want to be in that number. I win the same school, my Let's go. No, let's grow now, eh? Let's grow. Uh, co-host, Corey Norman, what's up? Nah, good bar. On fire at the moment, huh? Yeah, luck's got to run out soon. You reckon? Nah, I don't know. Three in a row? <laughs> Dude, that's nah. Good, bro. nah, nah. It's just win normally, eh, boys? Yeah, he's, he's still hasn't started practising his field goals. You haven't been practising, you've just been slotting him? Yeah, bro. Natural. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, two guests in, uh, in the building today. Latsy, what's up? Hey, mate. What's going on? Move the map, my across. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. Hey, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's been happening? Nah, not much. It's been a while, huh? It has been a while. I think. Uh, are you still all good now? <laughs> yeah, are you still? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, first, first subject. Are you talking to me? That's that's the question. That's <laughs> what I want to know. Oh, were you there? Yeah, yeah, I had no idea what was going on. Was yeah, so podcast. Here's a, weird. here's a bit of a story for you. <laughs> Straight off the bat, I've I've walked into a club and I've seen the boys there, and no one let, <laughs> no one lets in Source a long time, and I've gone up to Source. I was like, hey, bro, what's going on? And he just goes, <laughs> and then storms off. I was like, what's this problem? And everyone's like, you know, you know. I was like, what? So I've gone up to Saucy. I was like, hey, bro, what's up? He goes, you know what you said to me. <laughs> Don't you dare talk to me. And I was like, what did I say? And he goes, you know, and just stormed off again. So I've started walking off again. Big Latsy comes behind me, smacks me on the shoulder <laughs> with, his, with his hoof, and he goes, if Saucy's not talking to you, I'm not talking to you either. That's I a remember, massive lie. I remember that too, and I was just like, oh, yeah, heaps big loss. And, and then you're like, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> What That's all right. I was, we got the two points that night. We're pretty full of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> you come in carrying on. Nah, I was, Get off his eye I was wearing a YKTR shirt too. I'm like, look, oh, yeah, I'm not talking to you now, bro. I'm a businessman. Yeah, the, I ended up ringing up Source a couple of weeks later. I was like, oh, sorry, man, for us. Yeah, 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 that's all right. That's yeah. all right. He doesn't hold grudges, so he. What, about <laughs> <laughs> was the what did you actually say? Was it about his injuries? I think, was, I think it was I think it was I one A. I think I think it was something on Twitter. Yeah, um, I go, oh, you missed eight weeks for a black eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's for <what> giggle. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, like, I would have said that to his face. Yeah, I know. But it's just, yeah, probably not on Twitter, huh? Yeah, and he, he went through a rough period with it. But he yeah, I, I didn't know that. I yeah. just thought he had a sore eye. Yeah. yeah. You knew exactly what he had. <laughs> no, I didn't. You knew exactly what you were doing. Oh, and Danny Wiley, I know exactly what's going on. Fritz, what's up? Hey, what's going on, bro? How you been? Good, good, good. Um, so, so you just... far away. No, nah, it's all right. Oh, turn it. it <laughs> Doesn't really matter as long as you can yeah. hear it. What's been happening? Nah, not much, mate. Just uh, new house, new baby. Yeah, a couple of things going on. Yeah. A lot of me played at the moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. promos uh, here and there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pay, no, no, pay it's going good. Yeah, good. It's good ice on his balls over here. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, number hey, one. Hey, hey. I think that was our like number one question. How, how's your nuts, man? Yeah, yeah, it's going good. Um, like what? Like what's happened? Like yeah, well. Nothing at the moment. I just got <laughs> a bit of protection there to, to look after it in the games. But you didn't lose it, eh? You didn't. No, no, no. So I the think way the way I pictured it is like your sack, and then you've got like a little nut hanging out or something. Or no, no. Nah, so you got your two nuts. Yeah, right. And, <laughs> and one of them pretty much busted inside. So um, what straight up, just like like bur- like a yeah, like, like a watermelon like a head in the ground, like, like a little burst. Yeah. And it pretty much contusion up. on the ball. Yeah. Well, they call it laceration. Oh, so like a cut. Oh. And then, anyways, they um, went straight into surgery straight after the game. I uh, wasn't sure if anything had happened and uh, went from there. Then an hour was under the knife and all stitched up and my tags were like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. I've got a couple of photos for oh, the boys really? to, yeah. to show them. But, um, <laughs> yeah, they're going good now. Like, I, It's obviously not 100% healed, but I've got protection there to, to look after it um, playing games. Done all right. R- rolled straight on the field, scored a try. <laughs> Yeah, pretty lucky. Yeah, <laughs> all right. In terms of pain tolerance on one to ten, how much did that hurt? Yeah, it's well. Obviously, every bloke knows. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. like to get whacked. Sack wax. Fine. Oh yeah. mate, even just those little ones like yeah, that. Yeah. Those even the those flick. sting a and bit. Then it comes you on reckon it was like time standing? Yeah. Yeah, like you get that that stomach. The stomach like, comes that was, up. That was probably what hurt the most was the, the stomach pain, and, and that just doesn't go away. Oh, like so you still got it now a little bit or no? No, no, it's everything's sweet now. Like yeah. it's a bit sensitive, but. Yeah. A bit like like his moods. (laughs) (laughs) Common theme in the Dragon Bus, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, it just doesn't go away. And you just assume that uh, you get that little, you know, minute where it's, you know, you're in pain. But after that, it just just goes away. Did you, um, did you have to freeze any, any, um, semen? No, that's what I was like wondering. Before I come back, I was thinking whether I I need to 
go get some frozen or something like that. Yeah, hundred. Because the case had to do that, eh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, really? Is yeah, that what he had to do? I think he lost his nut, and he's just like, and they wouldn't like reproduce. Like, yeah, you need, well, you need two. Lost yeah, and then he was going back and getting tested for like sperm count, and apparently it was just getting yeah, worse, and worse, yeah. and worse and worse and worse. I think that's why he was like going to yeah, so can, footy. Yeah, that's that's all the questions that you know us as athletes don't even know. Like, yeah, yeah, that we didn't even think of that, eh? Yeah. And it is pretty. Because I, I didn't know what was going on, so that's they're, they're the first questions that asked specialists straight away. Yeah, when I was coming back, and he said, especially you've just had a kid as well, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. So I'm pretty lucky in that case. But um, in saying that, there's like a 48 hour uh, window, 42 hour window, where if you don't get something done within that time, um, don't quote me exactly how many hours. <laughs> but it's something, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, something, it's something like two days. Yeah, and then if you leave it for any longer, that's when the damage can really happen. But Case is the extreme yeah. end, and um, <laughs> where I oh, when he got checked again, and, and it's a it's a low risk of that happen to me. But if it does happen, there's um, solutions that you can do to. Have you uh, released any of the swelling down there? <laughs> <laughs> how big are we talking? Here? He, does. Oh, he knows how sensitive. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was it was two weeks before because you've been oh. very angry lately. So oh, it was two weeks released. Yeah, yeah. Down there, yeah. Time, yeah. two weeks. Yeah. 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 Fuck, it's crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. Because I think you can burst it again if you if you go a bit earlier. Oh, really? Yeah. So what are you wearing? Like a like yeah, how the was the cup? Were... How was the cup on the weekend? Is it all right? Yeah, it's more. Oh, training with it's more annoying because you're yeah. thinking about it and yeah. you're getting whacked and it's sticking out of your. That's a picture of it actually. <laughs> <laughs> Here's, yeah. a Here's a look. Here's a look. Do you know? Do you, have you ever seen? Do- you know, in dodgeball when he's like pumping up yeah. his thing. <laughs> <laughs> And that's, that's generous too, by the way. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Any sort of strapping you need for it? Imagine, nah, imagine, imagine being the physio strap. for that, eh? Yeah. Then let me strap your balls up. <laughs> Pre-game massage. Mm. <laughs> all right, Dragon, so let's talk all the footy shit first. Start off a little bit slow. You guys are notoriously fast starters. What happened this year? Going to try it the other <laughs> way and um, come good at the right end of the season. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I think um, obviously we had a new spine, but um, we're missing some key forwards and – the middle wasn't playing good enough or letting in easy points and yeah. uh, it took a few weeks to click and put a game together in Brisbane and young blood got us over the line and then again on the weekend our defence was unreal. And it was, eh? Yeah. yeah. And I think that was the first time we kept like teams under 16. And, oh, really? Um, yeah. And they, they, they've actually been defending really well so we knew it was going to be – that they weren't going to let many in and big fella got it done again. And still haven't – like your tack hasn't really been striking as well as it should, eh? Yeah, we Nah, not really. Just on the combo, I think. Yeah. <laughs> just the wing. Stop throwing forward passes to the <laughs> winger. Yeah, uh, Jeez, you took touch, that well. Touches, uh, huh? Going off the crowd, just make the right call, huh? Yeah, you a bit, un, bit unlucky there, eh? Yeah, it was unlucky, but, um, you know, I can't talk. But, um, <laughs> but, yeah, nah, on the weekend, we just didn't build any pressure down there. Every time we got down there, we kind of just give the ball over. But I thought, like, our... You know, um, end to end football. Where, you, know, you know, well, when you're in the grind, and yeah, when you're in our grind, we're, our attack was all right. Then we, you know, we're shifting a bit. So, just gonna have to work on yeah. our, um, yeah, attack. I think that's something that we struggled last year. Like last year, we we're just blowing teams away, and, and that's how we got our wins. Where, mm. you know, this year we've we've grinded out two two good wins, and we weren't able to do that last year. Oh, so really? Yeah. I don't yeah, know when, if it's whether the preseason something is, is the reason why we start so well. Like we usually, well, we had a tough preseason, but in the past, it's been. Been tougher than the one you just had. Yeah, I don't. I, don't, I reckon the oh, year before was I, way harder. Yeah, but this year was still hard. It was just like say the wrestling. A bit different. And, and <laughs> oh, I, the way the, the way this guy's been coming into the office talking <laughs> about mate, it. I had I think four, you're an army camp, <laughs> mate. Four trial games before the actual first one. No, nah, but I he was, was telling me his, like, he was telling me a story. The first day he got there, and you guys done a pose. He got run straight over. <laughs> Mate, it's mate I was just like, yeah, front row here, he'll ease up here. <laughs> Boom. Oh my god! How about your yo-yo test? You know, so there was a bit of a rap about Normie coming from um, Parran and being so fit, <laughs> being to, having a good time off the field as, as well as training. He come in and got, what did you get like seventeen two? So no, that's what the middles were getting seventeen, <laughs> and seventeen, and seventeen. Training, and then our training come running, over and, and had a little chat to him and said, mate, you, you can't be doing that. Wouldn't have blew a candle out either. Oh. <laughs> it was strategy. Oh, really? You're yeah. straight in the front oh, look, saying, oh, I've been here 10 years. Yeah, you, you did it, man. So, nah, yeah. nah, look, I, me and um, Pickles, we had a bit of a thing. I just thought, I quit. And he goes, oh, you know, we don't accept that around here. And I was just like, oh, fair enough. I probably did pull up a bit short. But, <laughs> you know, we still got three months left before round one. So, uh, I, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. How you go now? Flying. Oh, yeah? Is he oh. fit? Yeah, he's fit. He's footy yeah. fit. 
I've never trained with him. That's the thing. Yeah. I've always always heard good things. Who's the fittest at your club? Probably Cam McGuinness. Oh, oh he's, but he's a good player, yeah, man. Yeah, he's a freak. Yeah. Lo- Lomax Lowy, is Lowy's very fit. Like Lowy's Lowy's oh, is he fit as well? For a young kid, yeah. 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 Speaking of um, Zachy Lomax, who's on the podcast two weeks ago with um, Dan and Kemp, giving himself a rap. <laughs> yeah, he's actually um, planning to uh, join the Australian cricket team in the next few years. He regretted that straight away. Oh, yeah. did he? The boy straight Mate, on to him. Kemp, 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 he had to take it down. Did he really? took it down. Yeah, was, that, was Kemp, that because of uh, Lowy? I don't know if it was the boys up his on him. Nah, I'll tell you what happened because Kempy was in there the next day and I was like, oh, what about um, Zach Lane? He goes, oh, he misses me. He goes, oh, can you please take it down? The boys are in there. <laughs> <laughs> he told me he didn't. Yeah, he said he didn't. Uh, We're coming for you, Lomax. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, tough gear. Young boys is ambitious. And then yeah. 2080 was actually going to go NFL and then come back. <laughs> Try something else. Is, is, he, he, is he that good at everything? Is he's he? very athletic. Yeah, he's yeah. very talented. Good go- like golf. He's mad. Yeah. Just picks things up real quick. Tennis too, Total right? opposite, mate. Yeah. <laughs> I am sport. <laughs> okay. Sure. Oh, you should have worn yeah, that yeah, shirt, yeah. bro. Yeah. It's the so best. So you guys around. Who'd you, steal a, who'd you steal that T-shirt off? I got it from Rebel for, with a gift out. <laughs> Doesn't sound like you. <laughs> yeah, sponsored by Adidas. No, yeah. no, not Asics. Asics. <laughs> oh, oh, Kate from Asics. Yeah. Yeah. Don't yeah. give me my shoes. Thanks, Kate. <laughs> yeah, 100. Um, so we, speaking of free stuff, oh, you normally grab that box down there. Oh, yes. Got some stuff for you boys here. Get you in the good stuff. Frizz, I uh, wouldn't have done it without cash. So. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare. You shout out everything. No. Kombucha. Maybe go over the top. Game look look after, after, look after What'd you give them? Nah, just, they're, they're both the same size, so mix it up anyway. Thanks, well, Jerry hey. usually wears like two oh, sizes <laughs> too small. <laughs> he does, eh? Hey. Hey. Tell him about his Zara shirt <laughs> that he wore the other day. Mate, he wore this um, white singlet in. Like, when was it? The other, like the other month. Uh, it looked like that, a rash Zara as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I so didn't try him on and I bought him real short. Yeah. And so I had it on the weekend and he lost it. Like it, looked, it did look very crop toppy in the pants. <laughs> I had it on didn't like fit that well either. You still, you, you still love a V-neck too? You still rocking him? Yeah, I still run with him. Yeah. <laughs> He's rocking his shirts from 10 years ago. I've still got the same <laughs> ones from when we're at the Warriors together. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, mate, keep this? opening that so we're oh, all oh, bumping this while we're doing I thought we'll open and have a look. Nah, 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 nah just, we'll just, just give you some stuff. Relax, up. mate, it's pretty close. Keep it on the time. DL from the other boys, <laughs> eh? Yeah. Keep it on the down low. Have they been chasing oh, shit, have oh, they? Hammer them about hats and that, but we, we'll get them down there. We'll get them down there. Yeah. All right, Dragon's <laughs> yeah. Bus. All right, Dragon's Bus, you sponsored by anyone? You want to give them a shout out on the podcast or what? 100%. Auto Craze, they're our main sponsor. Yeah. And they're actually moving down to the Shire, so... I'll get a few dragons yeah. down there one day and obviously <laughs> ham down in Cronulla. Yeah. Best food in the Shire. So uh, they keep the, the dragon bus going. How's that How's that all come about? Like how did it just all start? Like tell us, you guys only started last year, right? Yeah, yeah. So Gypsy, he's um car sponsor he's had for years. They yeah. had a um, bus there. So um, they organised for us to have it and mm. then Auto Craze decked it out. Like it looks full schmink now. <laughs> yeah. Looks pretty good, eh? Yeah, it's good. And then, um, yeah, get, get in there and go down to train every day. It's sort of good. Boys yeah. having a laugh and. I think we need um, a bigger one, of, eh? Just yeah, yeah he's blowing up about... He, he wants a little one, eh? I want a little Murray bus, you know, them like little buses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah be all the time. Yeah. But away. anyway, there's a budget and so we can't do it. <laughs> but no, it's good, it's good for a laugh and that. And it's pretty, especially especially with the travel as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah but no. it, I'll get an hour to get him up before the Oh, really? Oh. Who's, 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 out of you three, who's the most negative? Freeze. No, Where are we going, Norm? Nah. Latte? Yeah, yeah. Latte. see. No, no, he but knows. I've, I've changed. Only when I have one bad day every two weeks, <laughs> and it's a bad day. But yeah. The other, so like the, 13 days, but he's constantly just no. level sad. Yes, I'm level. I'm level every day where <laughs> – You look so happy all the time. <laughs> he's at, he's yeah. the extreme. Like, Latte's either he's up oh. or he's down, <laughs> and it's very easy to – Tell you, that. you don't have to tell me that. Yeah, and when I'm because when I'm quiet, like they're on you, me. You can see it, eh? Yeah, you can see it. And him and like James Graham, like it's the only time they're up all week. When I'm <laughs> oh, down, really? I'm they feed the best day of my life if he's down. So, <laughs> so he's it's not that down, often. Man. He doesn't have any good days of his life. <laughs> <laughs> your fuse is like that on your day. I mean, you've had a few blow ups. No, I've got better, but oh, yeah. tell, better. tell them about the Ollie one, bro. Oh no, I just bit slack in it. Oh, like we were just having a little joke around with Ollie the day before, and I tried to repeat the same joke back to him. The next day, one of his down days, he goes, "You can have a go at me, but don't you ever talk about my son like that again." I was just going, oh. <laughs> I was going, I'm just repeating the same joke that you told me. Yeah, that's I right. can imagine something like that. With yeah. Duff this year, Duff didn't even say. He just said, "Oh, I said, what'd you say?" Oh, did yeah. you? Can you wind you up? Can oh. you? How is how is it? You call him the snack? Less snack. The snack. Oh, cool. How, how's he got that nickname for one? 
Nah, he's he just thinks himself. he's a snack. Yeah, yeah like. Well, he thinks he's a like glamour, like glamour. Just, just the body. He's a prawn, like great body, but prawn, big glutes too. So he, yeah, he yeah. feeds off them. But sort of a Jimmy body. Maloney sort of yeah. personality. Yeah. He thinks he's well-rounded yeah. personality. Yeah, but great, obviously, yeah. great ticket in the sack. <laughs> 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 the mirrors aren't very good at home. Oh, yeah. Oh, Give us yeah. some any stories on him that you want to share or? I've got, got a great Matt Dufty story from Melbourne game last, last year. Will mm. Chambers, best ledger out in the game. Oh, yeah. And he yeah, goes yeah, up yeah. to um, Duff and he goes, oh, yeah, oi, Dufty, none of the boys like you. Tyson Frizzell told me that they think you're a wanker. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and, and anyways, after, so they just scored a try. You take my story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what he told me. <laughs> So Dufty's, Dufty's that rattled like by what he said and uh-huh. we're sitting behind um, the post and he comes walking over to me and taps me on the show and goes, Frizz, did you tell Will Chambers that you don't like me? <laughs> I said, are you serious? <laughs> he G's up everyone and he was that rattled by yeah. That's oh one of the oldest God. trick in the book oh. days, aren't they? The new fella coming Turn the team, mate. <laughs> yeah, turn the teammates on him. Mm. All right, um, so we've got a few questions coming through. More so just um, more so like life outside of football. Everyone knows what you guys do on the field and all that sort of stuff. So life after football, where are you boys hitting? You're probably a little bit closer than Frizzin. <laughs> what are you, 32, 33 now? 33 in December. I'm still trying to drag uh, it out. But yeah. um, So I finished the uni degree like a few years ago. You've had that for a while, eh? Yeah, yeah. And I, um, I sort of started doing some stuff with that like in corporate, but I didn't really like it. So I, um, I've been doing mortgage broken with Tony Kane for yeah. the last couple of years and um, – my plan is to ha- have my own business there and um, as long as the mortgage <laughs> industry doesn't crash, <laughs> which hasn't looked great lately, but um, yeah. that, that's sort of the plan. It'd be somewhere in mortgage and mortgages or financial so money. planning or something. Yeah. Speaking no, I love, love numbers and money. Speaking of money, <laughs> why are you so tired as a human? Yeah, no, no. Well, the, that's <laughs> sort of mud a lot better. That, that's that's sort of, better. Yeah, mud stuck there. I was bad when I was young, but I'm a lot better now. Like, I'm honestly not yeah. even that bad at Dragons. He used to get me a beaut. We used to go for coffees. <laughs> it me, him and Ollie. Ollie again. <laughs> and um, so we'll be sitting outside and it was like just us three or maybe Chico sometimes as well. And he go, oh, hey, bro, can you get me a coffee? I'll just got to watch Ollie so it doesn't like run on the road and shit. And like, yeah, sweet. He'll give me five bucks. I'm like, yeah, sweet. So I'll go up. He goes, oh, can you get him a baby chin and <laughs> <laughs> baby chin and a banana bread as well. Oh, you go oh, once. I remember you shout oh. and you bring it up every time. Oh, he's oh, get him a job. He owes me some money. Yeah, no, no, he'll be out there soon working hard. Nah, so where's it come from? Being tight. Uh, oh, my mum and dad. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, my dad probably more. Yeah, mum's more frugal, but mm. um, yeah, I've always. Uh, just thought of the future and um, when, when <laughs> oh I'm rich in a few God. years. Oh, <laughs> I wish I had that. Yeah. yeah. So I'm oh. trying to, yeah. Mentor the young blood, man. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's sort of where it comes from. But I'm not as definitely nowhere near what I used to be. Who's tighter than you in the NRL, you reckon? Oh, in our club. Yeah, well, ben I've Hunt. noticed that. Ben, ben Hunt. Yeah, don't. James Ben Graham. Hunt. Yeah. He's in a million dollars. He's tight. Oh, exactly. <laughs> and in proportion to salary to me too. Like yeah. I'm looking like I'm the biggest spender and shouter oh, in the team. Normie Junior. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On that actually, so, 200 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do too. Oh, oh yeah. and, and he'll remember it too. <laughs> yeah. today, like, I do too. He's yeah. got, so, when you pay for different things, he'll dead set right no, at yeah, the end. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. And I, I bought the last year out. Like, I just remember. And on what date too. So. I did yeah. those ones. I was like, can you grab us some coin out? <laughs> <laughs> he's, oh, he's I like, actually forgot about it till yesterday. And he I went, pulled out oh, the book. Oh. Well, uh, Normie. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Interest rate? Oh. Hey, oh, oh, I should be actually. I could have used that 200 no, for something. Went to nah. go for petrol and norms. Yeah, and well, actually, up. um, he stung me a lot actually. So, I, I, oh, the I, pe- tell him about the petrol yeah. one. <laughs> so, picked up the kids from school. Took Joe past norms. Like waved at him. He just gone from my house with the bus to go do some stuff. Yeah, and um. Kids with roller coaster emotions, like Evie loses it after school, get her out, get her in the um, car, I get her in the house. Normie rings me, hey, bra, bra, where are you? I'm like, I just got home. He goes, can you come up to the petrol station? My card's not working. It got declined, bro. So I've had to throw the kids back in the car. My daughter's losing it. Oh. Go up and he's sitting out the front of the petrol station. Oh, waiting for me to come pay for it. Oh, I was so lucky. Oh, he was so lucky it wasn't busy, <laughs> hey. And I was like, I tried to do them once. I was like, oh, my mate's coming. She's like, oh, like half didn't want to let me out. I said, I swear to God. The Pakistani bus yeah, driver. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I swear to God, he's coming. He lives around the corner. She's like, yeah, sweet, so. Like it wasn't busy. Oh, that was great. proper shame job, eh? Yeah. Proper shame job. Fucking oath. Oh, I left my other card at home. He <laughs> <laughs> shit. He used to borrow money off me when I had no job. Yeah. Oh, give us a good one. No. It's ah. not because he's a um, – do I ask? He's just – Yeah. He's no, no, no. Well, the, thing, the thing is I'm trying to be good with money, but when I, I can't take cash out of this card, so mm. – 
just hit other people up and then transfer. <laughs> 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 No, you are good for it. That's a good thing. Uh, so, Frizz, outside of football, what do you want to do? What do you get up to? What's, <laughs> What's the, the, carp- <laughs> the carpenter? Go, go, go. The he's builder. A, he's an apprentice for our, our young um, under-20s player, Reese Robson. He actually um, <laughs> oh, he's yeah, an apprentice he's, building. Yeah, Robbo's so he's, he's superior. Uh, <laughs> not, he's, he's not under-20s. He's then our old, but he's 21 years of age and Frizz is his apprentice. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> yeah. oh, that's all the time. No, no, yeah. Oh, so, yeah, <laughs> about that. Uh, I've just started doing, like, a TAFE course, um, a building carpentry course. It's something that um, always interesting, or interested me yeah. coming out of school. Like, the only reason why I went to school was to, to do woodwork and, and play footy. So, um, for a couple of years there, I was a bit on, you know, I didn't know what to do and still don't know what I really want to do after footy. And I guess that's – I've got time on my hands for now. How old are you now? 27, I think. Oh, yeah. Still, what? <laughs> what? Yeah. Are you younger than me or the same mate? 91? Younger. younger. You're 92. What about 91? Yeah, we're the same mate. Oh, <laughs> my God, mate? man. Yeah. Oh, my God, we? man. Yeah. yeah, well, I'm, at the end of the season, I'll be yeah, 28. Okay, yeah, okay, sweet. Yeah, December, still, December? No, October. Oh. So, footy season. Footy same as us. Okay. Part yeah. of the crew. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so, you want to be a builder? Yeah, oh, I don't, don't know if I want to be a builder. Uh, I like the design stuff of building, building houses and, and also – Wanted to know how to do things like, um, obviously, just recently done my house and landscaping, mm. and you enjoyed that sort of process yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, I do, and also the real estate kind of side of things. And um, my missus is a graphic designer. I saw well, that. So yeah, she's onto yeah, it. Eh? Yeah, so kind of did our our house together um, between us, and obviously didn't get on the tools or anything like that. But yeah. the design side of things and and how things looked was. You love that? from us, yeah. It's yeah, pretty, pretty cool. I remember reading an article about your missus back in the day and she said, like, oh, once he finishes footy, like, mm. do your own thing, I'll look after us and shit. Yeah, Fuck, that's, that's all the time, eh? That'd be that's nice. That's what you want to hear. <laughs> I can just kick, kick back, look after the, well, the young fella and, uh, <laughs> oh, that'd be all the time. Where are them girls? That. You don't hang around them sorts of girls, eh, normally? <laughs> nah, not yet, bro. <laughs> so he's chasing, he's chasing. 2019, huh? You've got to strike when no one's hot, bro. you got to get him out. <laughs> all right, um, so game day preparation. <laughs> Go then. <laughs> Why you don't talk about yours? No, I will. Pescatarian. Again. Oh. No, 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 let's go. I'm more, I'm more looking over this way. Why do you get so ready so early, Latsy? <laughs> what, driving to the game with these football boots on? <laughs> oh, I've never oh, seen I've never seen someone get ready so early before a game. It half makes you nervous, eh? Hey? You're like, fuck, are we going to have a warm-up soon? Or remember, what? remember at the trial? Yeah, yeah. It gets the nights where I filmed Latsy. Oh, yeah. yeah I had his boots on walking into the shed, high-fiving <laughs> the boys <laughs> with the polo on. What's up, boys? That's such a while. Oh. <laughs> well, I did a promo. Uh, no, I just like to get um, ready early, and um, so and I've got I'm a bit like weird on game day. Certain things I need to do. You're and big on you're big on time, eh? Yeah, I, well, I, I don't like being rushed because then I get rattled going out to warm up. Yeah, so I just like to be organised, and um, I've got like <laughs> things written down on my phone that I have to follow. There you go. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, what what do you what do you got? No, nah, oh, pretty well. Just, like the day is pretty cruisy, but just when I get to the game, I've got to do it in order. Mm. So I've got to um, get massage first. Yep. And I got rattled actually the other week because then I'd come in and there's like 10 names. <laughs> oh, no. So I was freaking out. What do you do? You ask someone if you can bump up? No, no, no. I just waited and then I was just real rushed. Yeah. And, uh, it, was, it was actually – oh, I think we lost the Rabbitohs that night. But, um, <laughs> so that was related to that. <laughs> but, um, and then, yeah, then I just like to have a shower, get all the oil off, get strapped, and I'll have a coffee in between. Mm. Yeah, I'm sweet. Coffee? Yeah. I, don't, I try not to have coffee until the game. Oh, what the do you last do? couple of weeks, I relaxed. I, I, like up in New England, I've been a bit more relaxed and had a coffee earlier yeah. today. What do you um? What do you drink? Ah, uh, we've been drinking long blacks lately. Oh yeah, a dash of milk. <laughs> dash of milk. Oh, but I've only gone to that lately. Yeah, so I've been leaning back to cappuccinos, but there's too much milk in it. So yeah, it does feel milky as you get yeah, older. Yeah, it does. Eh? And like you feel sloppy when you're having them all the time. No, mm. what's, what's that? that? <laughs> <laughs> what does that feel like? No, you know what I got the other day? Um, double shot cap, but you can um tick that three quarter milk. Okay. Yeah, yeah, on um, our app that we ordered on. He's got an app that you can order coffee on. Yeah. Oh, what's you? it called? Hey, hey you. Hey you. Shout hey out you to Hey you. you. Shout out to Hey you. <laughs> Looking for a thing. <laughs> New Spawno. Yeah. yeah. Hundred. New yeah. third party. But I, I've been rooming with him actually on a way trip, so he's been throwing me schedule out a bit in the rooms and that. <laughs> How, yeah. What's he like as a roomie? <sighs> no, we had a bit of a bar up the other day in the middle of the night. Oh, oh, really? really? So, so I'll, I'll, are you are you a TV on, TV off before sleep? No, nah, we're good going to sleep. Oh, we're okay. all good all night. Like, because I room with Gareth in um Brisbane when he, he said he you. Was Gaz at, said you were awful. <laughs> no, he loved you me. were I, rubbish. I, I just because I'm an old man, I go to sleep early and I'm up real early. And he slept until like eleven o'clock. Oh, I went out, me. had a coffee, come back, and he's still sleeping. But um, <laughs> so I, I was with Frizz the other night, and. I was asleep, dead to the world. <laughs> He's gone in, turned the light on in the toilet. Yeah. 
through the toilet. Uh, that's like the all right. That's seat. What do you mean to shit no, in no, the dark? No, no, no. That's the complete lie. Through the toilet seat up, farted. <laughs> <laughs> that's the fart woke me up. Then, <laughs> then he proceeded to see me. He's you know, how, how there's a porcelain. <laughs> he didn't piss on the porcelain. He pissed straight in the water. Oh, so no. I was filthy. Oh. <laughs> Got up when he <laughs> did the biggest fart. And he, oh. <laughs> he was like, oh, you can't do that because you're angry at me. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll tell my side. Of all right, let's go. So every time we go in uh, to each room or... There's usually a big bed and a small bed. So I go straight in and I was like, oh, if there's a, if there's a big bed, I'll let Latsy have it. Yeah, I'll point. walk in. Latsy's already got his bag on the, on the big bed. Oh. He goes, brah, brah. If you want the big one, just take it. I said, your stuff's already there. Unpack, ready to go. You've already taken it. So then, oh, that's anyways, true, back, to, back to the story when we went to sleep. So I've gotten up. I've had my torch on my phone, so I didn't wake him up. Walked in with my torch. <laughs> and because me, me brightness wasn't that up, like I peed in... Oh. In, the, in the middle of the bowl Made a bit of noise uh. <laughs> Farted <laughs> Might have done a little fart <laughs> But then Walked in Like trying to be quiet yeah. And he's waking up saying Just Just wake up the whole neighbourhood <laughs> So I was going to yeah. say Like yeah yeah Whatever, whatever. He's gotten up <laughs> Holding the, the garage shit, Holding a garage oh. Had the shits Walked straight in Turned on the lights <laughs> Like on the lights What time is this? This is two in the morning Oh yeah. wow And like Pushed one out so it made that real oh. loud noise, and then like slammed the door and then walked to bed. Hey, grudge him more. Oh my god! Yeah, We're best friends. Yeah, oh, grudge him more. Wake him up in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Uh, game day prep. You've played in some pretty big games now. Um, does it change between Dragons, New South Wales, Australia? Um, no, I guess. What's your day look like from morning to kick off? Morning, uh, wake up, have a little sleep in. Um, I like to go out for brekkie mm. and do you know whatever you need to do. Well, now I've got a Young fella, obviously, um, if it's a later game, I try and do whatever I can during uh, the morning and then I'll get out and about. And then as soon as lunchtime hits, I like to be... Shut it down. Yeah, shut it down. Uh, I don't have to have a sleep. Boys like having, you know, must have a sleep. But You're like that, eh? Yeah. Wanna, like, yeah. Well, I'll get to the game. <laughs> yeah. if I don't have one. Get off your phone, man. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> just, let it, just let it happen. <laughs> Chasing so if DMs. You, if you sleep, if you sleep, you don't, you don't. But as yeah. long as you're, you're kicking back and resting, because I think... Like Latsy, you get rattled by things if you try and schedule it in. Yeah, hundred percent. You like that, eh? Yeah, yeah you, I don't like that. Yeah. You see people when they're so strict and it, something yeah. doesn't happen, their heads just falling off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I, I tried that I don't kind like of. That. I tried that. All that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you stick to something basic, but you're not like full like yeah. too hectic because yeah. if it doesn't work, I remember PT used to be bad for it. Oh, was he? Oh. Something wasn't right. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he's bad, Jim, man. Jim is like that. Yeah, he's, he's a maniac. Yeah, he's oh, is he OCD? Oh, What's he mate. like? What's he like? Oh, he's Don't touch my salt, brother. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Not on yeah. game day, brother. We've had a few blow ups. Oh, have you? Well, on the bus last year, um, he was annoying me, so I was sitting at the back. And he, I saw his bag there, so I've started going through it and had all his boots for the game the next day. So I've took a few of them out. <laughs> and then I've opened up his toiletries bag, and he's got these smelling salts he smells before the game. Anyway, I've just opened it and it's that strong. The smell's going up the front. Just turn around. He goes, Fuck, you're touching this stuff, ball. He goes, We've got to play tomorrow. Storms up. He goes, You don't do this to me the day before. The oh, game. really? And like, didn't talk to me for the rest of the trip. We just left Wollongong. Mm. And then on game day, he goes, You're not getting any of me smell. <laughs> <laughs> and we're That's playing so manly down in Wollongong. Yeah. And I, I, he went into the toilet, so I've gone to smell. And he's fake me, come back. He goes, Don't touch me. <laughs> Is it salt? Tr- I don't think you can get him over the counter. I think he. Yeah, Where's he getting on the England black market? No, no, yeah, no, it's just from England. It must be a certain type of uh, smelly salt that, that he tastes. And he that what Tyson they got Fury over smelled it when he got it. knocked out and then he rose, rose from the dead against the <laughs> table. Is that the same one? Yeah, yeah probably. That's what Jim oh. Jim is very similar to that guy in personality. Yeah, he did that correct. during conditioning. Yeah. The very first session. <laughs> the yo-yo test, actually. Yo-yo well, test. Oh, is he, he smacking he... salt before a yo-yo no, test? No, no, no. no. Oh. He, he laid on the ground like Tyson Fury, done. Oh like, yeah, so I remember like, that. But like, he did get it, he got eighteen something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is he, no, is like he hectic? He passed out. Yeah, he's crazy. Oh, yes. Laid on the ground like done. Mm. And then it was just about to beep and he just jumps up and runs another one <laughs> and then comes back and falls over it. <laughs> like, he's <laughs> dramatic. Man. Yeah, no, nah. he's he's just a mania. Yeah, he'd Proper. be up there with one of the fittest. Yeah. yeah. Oh really? For an, yeah. For an old Easily. bloke. Like he'd he'd he's keep running until he crazy. his leg fell off. Pretty much. Literally, yeah. Yeah. He's crazy. He's um. You go right. You run all right, Latty. Still or no? Nah, getting yeah, oh run. yeah. Not as good as I used to, and I'm a bit heavier. One and, pace wonder. Yeah, one pace wonder. <laughs> and uh, can't turn a corner. Oh. Been sucking. <laughs> 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 when he's those shuttles, like, 
I've been sucking kids in in the game. Like oh, that. really? Yeah. Just blowing? On the weekend, actually, Eddie comes out and he goes, here you go, mate. I go, oh, I'm gassed. It's about 25 in the second half. He goes, oh, let's just push through it. You're sweet. I'm like, oh, okay. Mate, he had plenty in him. Yeah. Like, I think it was about 18 minutes yeah. until the end of the half. And then um, he's gone, oh, I'm gone. And then you ended up playing. Did you? Yeah, I played now nah, four minutes to go or oh, five minutes to go. Yeah, he had plenty left in it. No one's got me through. Yeah. Coming off the bench is a weird sort of position, eh? Because yeah, it's different what, parts of the game you can come in. Like sometimes they get all the ball at the start and then you come on. You know what I mean? Yeah, for all the defence. But yeah. no, nah, it was. I come on at half time the other day. So oh, okay. Because like, Corbin went off and it was yeah, it was just weird. And because I sort of got told before the game I might not have been playing. Oh really? Yeah, like I might have just come on for a little bit. It just yeah. depend how the game flowed. So I was like in a headspace. I was 18th man, so yeah. I was like mucking around in that before the game. And I seen you in the shit at halftime. You're doing a little like yeah. I was trying to warm up. <laughs> so when Corbin like I saw Corbin carrying his arm, I go, does that mean I'm going on? And I'm like, oh shit, I better get ready. So mm-hmm. mentally, I just started getting ready and tried to find myself up in the sheds. In like the smell Yeah, plenty. <laughs> About 20 times I went over and smacked it, and he opened a brand new one the other day, so it was fresh. <laughs> that, that it's a little way Corbin going down yeah massive yeah, he's yeah, been massive. like he's great but they've got some energy them Sims boys oh, just mm, defence oh, and their aggression and their tackle techie they just yeah they just love it eh yeah the whole family yeah, yeah. even Ashton like, you know. yeah. did you ever see that thing when um, Ashton Sims was mic'd up over in, when he was playing for Warrington yeah yeah fuck that yeah, was all yeah, time he was getting yeah. me pumped yeah. you know when they mic you up yeah yeah, yeah yeah remember your see, one yeah I didn't see it though what my one yeah when you had one at para yeah I remember Benji stepped me and he like <laughs> stepped me and then he threw this like uh, flick pass and I was like, you can't be doing that. But I was like, filthy, he like stepped me. He made me look like an idiot. <laughs> then so I tried to spray him. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were mic'd up. Yeah, oh, yeah, was it was there. against the Dragons, yeah, eh? It was there. And um, what's it, Trent Merrill was trying to, you know, you know when the game's over and he's trying to rough oh, up people yeah. up. And, like, relax. Yeah, I'm, I'm relax. <laughs> Is he a chance of coming back or? Yeah, I don't know. I heard oh. he's back in Australia for like personal reasons at the moment, but yeah. I, I'm not too sure. Like, he's locked t- in oh, he's a both mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I've yeah. spoken to him. He's, I think he'd be keen to, to come back home. Fuck Do we get Obviously, any, he's got um, personal stuff going on, but. Do we get any relief, money. like money from? It all happens next week. Oh, like, he goes yeah. to fight the employment stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Yeah, so hopefully we can find some money for him because Jeez, he's a good personality there. Yeah, for having your club and he, he means to be pretty funny. Those, yeah. he's good, good off. The Opposite field. of yeah. Jerry, but <laughs> <laughs> me and Norm's that one. Anyone competing with him? <laughs> it's, it's a bit of a two-way battle. Quiet, yeah. Yeah. yeah, hopefully we can find some room for him. He's a, mm. a good player. Now, obviously, we're having uh, Corbin now. I don't know how long he's going to be out for. Out for and, Ten weeks, isn't it? Yeah. No, How long are you out sure. for with your I mean, injury? Yeah. <laughs> <Hey>? Doctor, <laughs> <Talking about laughs> playing, let's go to the NRL physio over here. So uh, yeah, I, I actually, actually well, Claude's played about eighteen minutes with a broken arm. Yeah. Isn't it like a four week injury, sort have of you, broken no, arm? Have you heard about Lats's injury? <laughs> <laughs> you heard about his? Or the medial? Point yeah. <laughs> 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 three. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah. he wouldn't <laughs> let me sit down <laughs> over there because he had a sore knee. He blew up at me during so during the game when he did it to me testicle. Yeah, so he blew up at me for for his medial. Yeah. And because I did my testy, he didn't say anything about it. So because mine was a lot worse, he's like, oh, I'll, I'll let this one pass. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he knows it on the field. On. The, the, the guy come out, he goes, what's wrong with you? I go, I was grade one media. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, something was being brought to my attention a couple of weeks ago. Um, bit of a spelling contest in the Dragon oh. Bus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Do you care to explain the stories? Yeah, there was a bit of a debate on the bus who the better speller was. So... Um, <laughs> 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 Honestly, Ralph, we Wait, can we make up a word here for him to spell that yeah. or do yeah. you, can, we say, can we yeah, get yeah, pen yeah. and paper? Because I'm, I'm, I reckon I'm better when I'm writing. Yeah, because they, yeah. they were using their phone and dictionary was just spelling <laughs> the words for them. And when I took them away, they were rattled. What do you reckon? Just, just one oh, word. Yeah, it's just got to be hard word. Don't give us an easy yeah, word because it, we'll probably get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a hard word, we'll get away with it. Oh. Go one each <clears> so you can't see. Fuck What's it. the word? You're the this this shit terrifies me, eh? Like, oh, right. I, remember, I remember in like because what I tackling? <laughs> you, so, yeah, what back roll's worst nightmare? <laughs> <laughs> you don't get a nickname in my life for no reason. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, so, um, yeah we spoke about it, eh? Didn't we? Like, I remember when we were kids coming through. Like in school, we'd always like hide read ahead. Yeah. So if you knew you were going to read, the teacher was going to call you out yeah. to read, and they go on person by person. Oh yeah. I'll go to my paragraph. Yeah. Pre-read it. So that when it come to my turn, you didn't mm, like, right. or if they would rattle me and just pick me out of the blue, I'd say, nah, 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 I'm not doing yeah, it. Yeah, because what is it called? Um, <laughs> reading. Illiterate? Reading. Illiterate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dyslexia. I'm, I'm a, dyslexia, <laughs> dyslexia, dyslexia, I think. Yeah, yeah. Rich, I've, Richard yeah, Brandt. Yeah, You've yeah, heaps of I've famous got people. I've got yeah. that. It runs but in my family. Apparently, I think I've got something. I've got yeah. something. You, you've got a little bit of an A, I reckon. Yeah, oh, well, you definitely do. It's as bad if not worse than ever. Just pick it up. You won that day. 
What, no, allocator? No <laughs> and he thought like, when I put it on Instagram, he goes, oh, he didn't win, I won, and he didn't talk to me the next day because uh. I said that he won on Instagram. <laughs> Wait, tell him about the alligator when I was trying to spell alligator. <laughs> <laughs> I put C in there. <laughs> alligator. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, anyway, uh, hit him with a word. Here we go. Hey, let's hit him. Yeah. Go. Uh, uh, momen- momentum. Yeah, uh-huh. momentum. That's an easy word. Uh, give us a hard one. Why? Well, because you don't look silly when you get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not in there. He's gone. Oh, him. Yeah. Is it you? Yeah. It is a. No, I think you missed him one letter. <laughs> None oh. of us can spell on him. <laughs> Is it U R U M E at the end? Momentum? No. I think there's no in there, isn't it? You're giving us words and you don't even know how to spell it. <laughs> no, it's o- momentum. No, it's O O M. I had it right the first time. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Oh so yes. U M instead of O M. Yep. Yeah, I had O M. Yeah. Yeah. So you're right. One nil. <laughs> Can you press a ting? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I got one here. No, where is it? You gotta turn it up. There we go. <laughs> Justin, hey, let's I got this for you. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, oh. So, how'd you get the name Horsehead? <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> You've had a few nicknames over Oh, here, mate, so that many. Give us a couple, rattle a couple of them off. Clay Morrow, like off um, you do. Sons, Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spitting yeah. image. Yeah. yeah. Like look a bit like a horse. I think I've been John Cena a bit lately. Actually. No, <laughs> oh, no joke. No, is no that, joke. Is I that because I can't see you on defense? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> John Cena. No, no, no. I, I don't know. I can actually see the similarities. Like big, muscly. Uh, He's got like a very similar, a better looking head than mine. Cottage, but. cottage cheese ass. Yeah, no. Nah, <laughs> he's probably got better glutes. Than him. <laughs> no debating that. Um, I was in Port Macquarie one time, and this guy comes up and goes, "Oh, what do they call you down there? As a goose, goose." goose. goose. Oh, goose. Like, yeah, well, well, I'm gooses, mate. I was like, "Who's that?" And a goose. You play of them. Well, I don't know who that is. <laughs> yeah, no, Why goose they call you goose? Look at him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <Come on>. yeah <laughs> that, that's, that's right. more about the cow. I used to be doodles as well out there. Doodles. <clears throat> you wear that one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, throw the, throw the book back. I'm a little bit lost without the playbook. Yeah, right. Cooper Cronk, stick to script. Yeah, fair. Um, so sort of to touch on a few topics, still footy related. Um, Paul Kent and Buzz Rothfield sort of talking about Valentine Holmes, calling him a wanker for all dodgy in media. What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, I saw you put up something today actually about trying to get Val on this. I reckon that would be unreal. But um, I thought it was a bit over the top, to be honest. Yeah, totally. Well, like, obviously, he ha- obviously he had a plan, right? So, gonna, yeah. Like, okay, he could have said a, probably a little bit more at the airport, but he's going to say everything when it comes out. He obviously yeah. knew it was going to come out the day after, right? Yeah. So, like, what's – like, you know once he's going to announce it, he's going to talk to whatever or mm-hmm. whoever. So just like, okay, yeah, there's a plan there. Like, just yeah. – I, I, I found it weird. Yeah, and, he, I, like, he's been on a 16-hour flight from LA, but last thing he wants to do is talk to the media. He's probably drowsy. Just woken up yeah. and they're, they're mm. like throwing stuff at him thick and fast. The reason they said it is because he sort of walked in, he had a hoodie and a yeah. Um, yeah. hat on and he sort of just brushed the media. Yeah. And, and then they've come out and they go, oh, he's a wanker the way he's American acting. sports, they see things in American sports. Yeah. I remember I read that the other day yeah. and I'm and like, Kent, come on, that's just a throw Paul Kent was going, who does he think he is? Yeah. <laughs> really? He's going, what? Yeah. People who are you? Googling Paul Kent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah, but I just, yeah, yeah. They, they obviously had a plan and yeah, he probably could have said a little bit more at the airport, but. Like, look, he's now he's talking. But he's got no media obligation. You know, you guys, yeah, yeah, you've yeah. got that in your contract where yeah. you guys have to talk to people. He doesn't. He doesn't yeah, have to talk to anyone. Yeah, you're right. But like, he's he said everything now, hasn't he? Been on a few shows and that yeah. Today Show and that. Yeah. It was literally the same day, wasn't it? It all come out. It was announced. Wasn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah. yeah so it was later a couple of hours day. later. So yeah. Like, how, yeah. Like, I don't. Do you know? Do you know what I'd love to see? You know how like there's a the relationship between footy players and journalists ain't always that great. Mm-hmm. And you know, it's usually one or two journalists. Yeah. What yeah. I was thinking is like, imagine if all the players got together and go like say journalist number A yeah. nobody talks to him yeah. so if you think like if you're a journalist you can't get interviews you're gone totally and there's, there's some that do dirt articles out there yeah. and um, th- there is a lot of them who are awesome people and great people who yeah. they have good relationships uh, yeah, with yeah to be fair there are a lot of good journalists but, out there but like you say there's probably only three or four that um, universally across the NRL people don't have high opinions of mm. but, um, and they put the dirt out there but uh, I, I know people have got jobs to do but um, yeah, but yeah that, I, I totally agree. Like play power, all time, yeah. play power. It's and sort of like um, you know, in the Bugs Life. <laughs> Have you seen that? Nah. Oh, like all them sort of. No. All right, sorry for that story. <laughs> Bad story, man. <laughs> Where's the analogies, man? You guys yeah. got kids. You never watched Bugs Life? No, I haven't watched no, that yet. No. Oh, Bugs. Yeah, oh, no, no. I was thinking of Bugs Bunny. Yeah. Bunny. yeah, me too. 
21. 13. <laughs> 10 plus 9. Yeah, what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, oh, there's obviously a lot of boys that have been burnt by a lot of journalists. <laughs> <laughs> that's your own, that's your own yeah, fault. Yeah. Yeah. If you can like, get that relationship on a, on a personal level, if you get to know someone, you know, obviously they're trying to do their job, they're trying to get a story out there, and the more, I guess, you have a chat with them and, and get to know them on a personal level, you're, you're willing to give them a yeah, bit more. Yeah, 100%. And they're willing yeah. to not... You know, give out the bad story. So, but it is a two way street. Yeah, it right? is a, it is a two way street. Just and then, give dirt, and, and that's what we're trying. To, I guess trying to change is yeah. the, like sports people and, and also athletes. Like, yeah, um, because then you know, our fans get to you know see more of us, see the other side of us in that way. If we're gonna, I think they're probably just sick of the bad, yeah, press as well. You know, you just there's only so much you can call. Oh, footy can come it. quick enough, and yeah. like since then, it's it was a long off season, wasn't it? It was. It was bad and. Um, that's why the footy back and it actually like the comp's been great and yeah. even the referees are doing a fantastic yeah, job. Yeah, they've been a lot better. Right? Yeah, and like good. I remember this time last year, there was just blow ups everywhere about how the refereeing was bad. And yeah. um, I think it's Graham Annesley's come in and doing a fantastic job there. Well, they mm. just don't blow yeah. penalty. Like, yeah. what was their average penalties? Were 14, 14 penalties a game or something on four? average? Like fourteen. On average last yeah, year, I said before. Oh, before. <laughs> well, last I year, said yeah. four. Yeah, yeah, last year. So mm. I think. When they um they're not blowing um penalties, yeah, it's gone good. Yeah, hundred percent. One of my other theories was back in the day, like we we're on the piss one time, and I was like, oh, why don't the ball boys chip in a hundred bucks each every NRL player, and we'll get a private investigator and do some dirt search? Yeah, I know. journalists. Hundred <laughs> percent. Did you really? Yeah, hundred percent. Oh no, you need to talk shit on the piss. That was one of my yeah. ideas anyway. And that's yeah, because like obviously. Footballers' lives are reported on a fair bit, and no journalists' lives are. Yeah, yeah, and they're up to no good too, I reckon. Yeah, <laughs> that's a, it's a Pure societal percent. thing. Yeah, not yeah. A, um, exclusive to sport. All right, what would you change about the game right now? Um, you I got think, a, you got quite a broad perspective on life and footy. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I think um, some stuff with the management of the game and player um, managers or no, 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 r- just in higher. terms of yeah, high, high end like the um, leadership in the game, and I think things can be done differently there. And how so? Just um, how things are handled with, with the play. I, I don't think it's actually fully become a partnership between the players and the NRL yet, and I think that was shown over the previous. Um, three months leading into the season start. You never see Rugby Union and AFL and papers for like too many bad things, eh? Yeah. You know, we, we can't be that much worse than them. Totally not. And I, I think that the, um, obviously the media down there and Eddie Maguire is a very powerful man and he's in the media and he owns, uh, he's the chairman or the CEO of the Collingwood Football Club. So mm. there's there's definitely a better relationship down there. But um, yeah, I just think the leadership in the AFL, that they, they're ahead of us at the moment and <coughs> that's something we always seem to be chasing. Mm. Do, you reckon, do you reckon we're doing enough in the game for education and educating players post-football? Post-football? Yeah, I think now, like, mm. you, you know yourself, yeah. like, all, all of us have been around now like in rugby league for over 10 years and from then to now, yeah. it's it's – Totally, like grown like exponentially, and there's still um, guys struggling in post football, yeah. though. You know what I mean? Well, well, that's something that like, this scares me. Like, but the, you know, my big thing is the ownership's on the individual, not yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. Like, you need to be proactive they, yeah, and go they, and do the edu- like, there's everything. Yeah, there, there's money for education. Yeah. Um, it's been a little got, bit easier for us lately because we've never been like really good players. You yeah, know what I mean? 100%. So the difference between real life and like say these two guys who. Yeah. Yeah, stars, yeah, of good, stars of the game, stars yeah, of the game, earn good yeah. money. So we've always been proactive in that 100%. sort of sense. Yeah, but the say like Fred's who's yeah. played everything, but yeah. going back to normal life, you yeah. kind of lose your identity. And I've seen plenty of blokes struggle afterwards. Totally, and a lot of them message me like. And they're like saying, "Oh, the fuck! It's crazy what they say." Some of the stuff they come up, yeah. Well, yeah, and you, I know there's been a few incidents in the last couple of years of suicide and um, other issues that people are having, and um, it, it is. You go from you're around thirty blokes every day to yeah. laughing and yarning and playing the game you love, and you go away and you got to get a normal job. You got to pay for your own shit, and, yeah. um, where you've been given <laughs> stuff your whole career. <laughs> but that's, <laughs> especially with the ones that come out of like school, high school, and then straight into rugby league, and that's yeah. all you've ever known. Oh, like, and 100%. like it, it does, it does scare people. Like, do you know? Do you know what I struggled with when I first left? Like structure. So say we, like we go from school to like it's hey, a team environment. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Hey, where's the next team drink, boys? <laughs> <laughs> oh, first remember when you let us in on the team drink? On Monday. <laughs> oh yeah, Casablanca. Remember years ago. You're like, oh, come oh, in yeah. for a beer and walk oh, down yes, and yes, Joel yes. Thompson was standing. What the fuck are you standing there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, oh, is oh, the yes, toilet is yeah, the toilet yeah, not yeah. through oh, here? The toilet not in here. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> the back part there. Yeah, that yeah, back part. Yeah, we had a few beers and then we just oh, we better get out of here. 
Oh, we're always on Mad Monday. Yeah. At the time of the year, so <laughs> no, I think boys. you. I think you were in the um the semis. Oh, we might have. Yeah, you just. Won. I think. I'll yeah, celebrate won making the finals back then. I think. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. you're already on holidays at that time. Oh, oh, here he comes. Here they come. This is Latte's favourite. <laughs> that's that's yeah. the old. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's <laughs> keeping September free this year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Touch wood. Oh yeah, I remember that. Wait, uh, what were we talking about? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, like kids coming out of high school. High school. Like, oh that's, yeah. That, that's so hard. Like. That's all Obviously, you can do all the study and all that stuff um, away from footy, but being out in the real world, world is is a lot different than you know doing the study behind it. Like for me, yeah. what I want to do, I can do all the study behind building and that, but I need to get on the tools. I need to be like away from footy and being applying myself to that, like yeah. whenever I can. Yeah. And that is hard with with a family and stuff like that because your number one priority is you're getting paid the big bucks yeah. to, to play footy 100%. and like focus everything on it. And if you're doing something else away from it <laughs> oh. and, you're play, and you're playing shit, like – Prime example gonna, last year, you're going look, to be looked on like, oh, it's because you're doing this. Why can't athletes do a couple of things at once? Like, well, do you, you know can. what I mean? No, yeah. but like, don't oh, like, oh, but like you said, when you get paid like the big bucks – it was like you, me last year, but I expected with Tara. Yeah. Like, because I was always in the office putting photos up – you know, fans were pissing on me going, oh, he cares about it, you know, his clothing yeah. brand too much, yeah. blah, blah, blah. But the, in, in, if they actually knew what I actually did, mm-hmm. like they would be going, like, oh, okay, yeah, nah, he was just playing shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But like, like we can sit back and say, oh, that's their opinion. Like why do we care? But like if we're seen as role models, we, we wouldn't care. I want to care what people think about me. I want to be – You do care? Trained. Yeah, I do. Like yeah. Some people like, do some. On some a personal level, like – Oh, if they're attacking me the way I play or something like that, that's fair. Like, oh, I don't really care. Yeah. But if you're, you know, attacking me on the way, like, oh, I apply myself yeah. to my trade and, you know, how I am around kids and stuff like that, saying, like, I'm a, I'm a wanker when I'm actually not yeah. Yeah. and I'm a good person. Yeah. Like, that's when it cares because that reflects on your family. That reflects on – That's you know, personal. Your, yeah, that's when you're just walking down the street, like, oh, that's a – that's a shit. That's a – you know, yeah. the missile of Tyson. So often that's stuff. what starts happening when you lose some football games. Yeah. And like even our Dragon Bus Instagram last year, like <laughs> when we're winning all the games at the start of the year, we're putting posts yeah, up. Yeah, People yeah, are yeah, loving yeah, it. Yeah. Start losing a few games. We put a post up. Well, you should focus on um, yeah. training and not doing this. But yeah, yeah. it's the same thing we're doing at the start of the year. And I think that's why like as a brand, as YKT, we've had like quite a bit of success is because like we document the bad times as well. You know yeah. what I mean? And like he's been good with it because he's usually the one under scrutiny. Yeah. And yeah. I feel like when players are attacked, they should have. They should be able to use their own, like, like say Instagram for example, mm-hmm. and go straight. But you, but you know, you're like controlled by your media like department. They're like, don't say this, don't yeah. say that. But yeah, it's it's a weird one. It's a weird. One. I don't yeah. I don't like some parts in football. And like, totally. And and you don't go out there any like week to lose a football game. But yeah. some weeks you're not as yeah. good as other. Do weeks. you know what one annoys me when they play? Oh, why is he smiling after a game talking to his mate that he's not yeah. his whole life? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. yeah, everyone, favorite. anyone that knows has played football at a decent level knows you don't feel the loss straight after a game. It's like fuck when you're driving home when you try to go to sleep that night when yeah. you have to fucking walk into video yeah. and you see your name up there three four times. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I was oh, special dear. for that. Uh, oh yes, inside shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's when you feel you feel losses yeah, up to a Wednesday. You don't feel it straight after a game. And then totally. You see Jimmy. You see Jimmy Maloney after a game. You want to like shake his hand. Yeah, he's probably a person who doesn't feel the losses, and like that's why he's a player. He's though. Yeah. like yeah, hundred percent. He's um the best of shrugging off. I remember like. he come to the Warriors and uh, <laughs> he played three games of first grade and coming like he got the name Sterlo because he thought he was running Parramatta before he even because <laughs> <laughs> we feel, oh, like great. I was with Parra the year before and he was with Melbourne, so there were two teams in the grand final and I trained with Parra up to the grand final. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I think it was like four weeks later, the Warriors were starting. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to get over and get training. And he like rings Ivan up and he goes, mate, he goes, I'm going to need an extra week off. He goes, <laughs> we've made it to the grand, we've played through to the grand final. My body's no good. It's just a battering ram at training. And Ivan goes, you're joking, aren't you? Yeah. And he goes, nah, mate. He goes, I'm mentally, I just need a rest to get away from the <laughs> league. He's the, the second grade team had been knocked out before the final. So he's pretty well just training through the final. Oh. And then he's rocked in a week late. And then oh, this is cool. where Ice will take over. And the boys, the boys are, um, the boys sort of come sort of around last, last, or oh, the year before. And Wayne Scarrow, who was like the CEO, come in and he goes, Oh, boys, you won't be able to get massages and that. For You'll probably get about one massage a week because you guys are losing. We're going to have to cut back on costs. He comes in, Fuck that. That's fucking bullshit. How <laughs> 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 loud it is in front of everyone. Uh, Ivan used to run some drills and that. Like, Ivan used to try and always make up new drills. Eh? He's been shit drill. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, he was a laugh. The old five minute run, he'd get in 4.59 oh, every he, single time. Day one of you, eh? yeah. He'd master, you know, you do a four and five and five. Yeah. He'd mastered it like 4.59 every time. <laughs> and I would go to him, oh, why aren't you having a go? He goes, oh, there's no reward for finishing any quicker. <laughs> 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 uh, that's why oh, he's been so good. Funny, yeah.
Yeah. Um, so sort of last thing sort of coming up, pressures of being an elite athlete or just an NRL athlete, a lot of people don't understand it. They see you, they buy a TV and they see you play on it and they think, oh, I own this TV so he's got to do this in a certain way. What's your thoughts on it, Frizz? Where, where, do, where do the pressures come from? Yeah, obviously outside and also inside. Depends what pressures you put on yourself. As players, obviously, we always want to go out there and perform. Like, Do you put a lot of pressure on yourself? Uh, I used to. I used to dwell on like, wins and losses and, and ride the highs and lows where, where now you have a family that you, you sort is of that, get. Is yeah. that a truth? I, yeah, I hear weird. a lot. Like, it's weird because you know, I feel like I've become more emotional as soon as I've had a, a young <laughs> fella and, and you start to put things in perspective. And it's, it's weird. Like Everyone says, oh, kid, change your life. And you're like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it actually right, does. But it actually does, mm. and in in a good way. And um, obviously, there's always that pressure from outside to perform and stuff like that. Like we've just grown up to be footballers. We haven't grown up to to be role models or um, grown up to that's so true. You know, betray, yeah. be betrayed in a certain way. And and over time, after playing footy and and realize how privileged we are, like in the position that we are in, like then you can uh, you know start to learn how to betray yourself out there and. And interact with people where back in the day you just I'd just hide you know I didn't want to you know want to be seen I'd just go out play footy and then just even if the kids like was looking at me I'd like I still get awkward mm. but now <laughs> it's it's like oh, okay he really he really finds something in me and I, I like that and I guess yeah the older you get you sort of realize um you know pressure is a privilege and you know the position that we're in is is very good and it's the way you you, you take it on and the way you handle it is most important. Jeez, have you prepared for this interview? Oh, Fuck, no, that was no, good, eh? No, he's they, actually pretty good. They got me wound up. There. I, was like, oh, shit. I did ask you for questions last night too, <laughs> and you've sent them through to him and stitched me up. <laughs> no, but yeah, it's something that you've that I've I've obviously learned after time, and that's just been time in the game. And then you sort of get if you're playing good, you sort of you sort of get pushed in a position where you want to be. You have to be put on a pedestal kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, but they want that. From, they want that because yeah. if. If you you know if you start playing bad, it's easy to tear you down. It's a bigger story, you know what I mean? That's what I feel yeah. like. Mm. What about you? You your 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 pressure is a little bit different. You obviously you had a bit of shit happen on the off field. Does that affect you, you playing on the field, or are you alright? You pretty cruisy, oh, or what? I don't know. I, no, because once you, like once you start playing, or you're at training, or you're heading to a game, like all that outside noise doesn't really matter. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I was probably when when I first got in trouble, that was probably. Well, 2016. That was that was a bit crazy. That was like um, that was a fucking media circus, eh? Yeah, oh, that was crazy. Like they were out front of my house and that. Um, that was probably I think we played Melbourne too that Monday night. That, that was like probably the only time I've headed into a game and I was just like, nah, I do not want to be here, eh? Like yeah. I was so rattled. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. It's just weird. I I, I can't tell you. Like yeah. Mm. That's the our, our pressure is a little bit different. We sort of have to fight for spots every week. Yep. Fair enough. Yep. Yeah. Frizzell could Frizzell could drop five balls and be picked first next week. <laughs> I'll uh, give a penalty away. Yeah, hey so, mate, that's a great coach ever. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's see. How does the pressure? How do you deal with the pressure? Um, like when I was younger, like obviously you know I was a bit, bit more of a roller coaster in terms of my footy and stuff. And mm. then as I've got older, I've sort of compartmentalised my life, so I've got my footy. Do you believe I, in compartmentalising? Hundred percent. Yeah. Is that from Ronnie Palmer or the? No, 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 no. I've just done it yourself. Yeah, just through reading and that, and different things I've learned across the way. But um, I just find like so you got your footy, yeah, and if you've got other stuff going on away, you don't bring that to footy. Um, so I reckon that's really helped me with like the pressures of footy. So I've got my family, I've had my education, I've got stuff now where I'm trying to work towards for when I retire, as well as like obviously I, I, I love like like investing and stuff. So yeah. that's always been something I'm always researching and trying to um. You're well, think you're about. well read as well. So you're quite, you quite you got you got a very broad, broad perspective on life, don't you? Yeah, and and that obviously comes back to obviously early in my career I had a couple of shoulder echoes, and then um, me and my now wife moved over to New Zealand, and yeah. um, she sort of was like, you should probably start looking to get something for after footy and Michael Luck who was someone I always looked up to over there he was studying so that yeah, was nice I, I look after him yeah, as well. he's, he's one cool. of the great men yeah. yeah and obviously look at the role now he's one of the big dogs at the Cowboys yeah, yeah. oh he's easy yeah. right up there yeah and okay. um, so I, I just found that and then now like I, like I still care about footy but I go to footy like training to have a laugh and yeah. go to the game I'm just like I'm a lot more relaxed yeah like she was saying to Frizz the other day like I think now when I'm more relaxed I'll play a bit better 
I think that's everyone, eh? Yeah, it's just got to get to that point. Yeah, and I've still got my routine that. And obviously there's no pressure on me. Like, if we lose, it's not because of me. But yeah. if we win, it's not because of me either. Like, Oh, you are saying something different last year <laughs> against the finals <laughs> against uh, the Broncos. <laughs> Wait, what's this quay- uh, quick play the ball normally? Uh, that, what's that this was, play the ball normally? That, that was on the drink. Cause <laughs> it, I'll go, where were you? I'll go, you on holiday at this time. I think I was in Bali too. Year. He got me a beaut. <laughs> oh, in front of the boys too. He's trying to, yeah, he come from there. Then just, uh, come also, back, back to your question, nothing is – Comes back to the individual and, and how you brought up and your background. Like every, every where did you grow up? Canola? I grew up in Wollongong. Oh, Wollongong. Yeah, yeah. He's always race. been a beach boy. He was yeah. telling me, hey, country boy. Nah. <laughs> country boy, <of> water, <laughs> silver, <laughs> silver spoon. Lucky yeah, Marina. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> different players are going to come from different backgrounds. So there's boys from Bush that know nothing about media and nothing about you know being a role model, and that, that's going to be yeah. hard for them. Mm. Yeah. And like, oh, uh, my, bush, my bush, mentality is like. Like when you get the pressures, like as long as my family and my friends, like they still love me, respect yeah. me, I, I really couldn't really care less what people think. Yeah. I like I do, but like when it, I do if it comes to football and that, but like, yeah, like if it's my family and friends, if they mm-hmm. respect me, still love me, like that's yeah. my mentality. You know what I mean? That's how I think how I, I mean, handle it. Do you know what a I'm, game of football is never going to affect that? Yeah. The love you have from your family and yeah, friends yeah, anyway. Exactly. So yeah, that's yeah. why, yeah. yeah. Norm Steph, what are you up to? No, nah, nothing, but I'm busy now. <laughs> <laughs> Later's <laughs> Norm's. <laughs> no, nah, so what I think about pressure with football, there's so many elements to it. So you think you finish a game, um, so you, you've got like probably least important fans that are like judging you. Mm. Then you got you got to think, you walk into your change room, you've got to look at your teammates. And you've got to look at your coach and your trainer and all that sort of shit. But then the last thing, you got to walk home and look at yourself in the mirror. Do you know yep. what I mean? So mm. there's all these fucking different elements yep. just mm. crammed into you. And such a short time frame, like they say, like seven days a long time in rugby league. Yeah. There's not many jo- jobs judge where you judge weekly on an 80 minute performance. You know what I mean? Yep. You could have the worst fucking week in the world. And if you play shit on the weekend, people are just going to go, no person yeah. gives a fuck. <laughs> that's oh, a, that, that is the biggest thing. Eh? Yeah. Like no one knows what is happening in your personal. And that's fair enough. Yeah. Like you shouldn't be bringing your personal stuff to rugby league. But like even players carrying injuries into the game a lot of the time the fans have got no idea what yeah. injuries players are carrying yeah um and I remember the, ivan said at one time he goes you guys are purely just entertainment so when you go to a concert that you don't care if drake's got a cold that day you want him to perform yeah, yeah. Mm. but then you got to go back to back to back to yeah, 24 yeah, rounds yeah, in a row yeah. then you've got origin as well which is oh, yeah. fucking the pressure cooker from nam and, f- and fans <laughs> pay their money and they're entitled to their yeah, opinion. yeah so you've yeah, just got to play with it and ride yeah. with it and they're, they're, there's some better than others and um you just got to keep winning that's all good yeah. yeah, winning fixes everything, yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's you the best day. Go back to the coffee shop after a win on a Monday. <laughs> yeah, oh, 100%. All right, yeah. boys, um, thanks for jumping on. Really enjoyed the chat with you guys. Um, getting, to fr- getting to know Fred's a little bit better as well. So welcome back anytime. Cheers, thanks, bro. mate. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Norm. Thanks, no, no worries, boys. Hey. <laughs> Good luck, eh? All right, boys, later.